So, quickest way to update your Tesla uh, UMC mobile uh, charging kit is pretty much take everything out of its box, uh, plug in either one of these cables, and then set the car to 1% more than it already is. Uh, once it's fully charged, the uh, software will send information back to the charging cables and update it. So I've just plugged the uh, charger into a 10 amp standard household uh, power point. As you can see, when I plug it in, it comes up with eight amps as software is limiting uh, in the unit at the moment. So if we start charging, it's only gonna pull eight amps. So what we do is we just set it to 95. It will say approximately five, 10 minutes left. We'll let it charge. We'll come back. Hopefully once it updates with on the latest firmware, it will send information back to the charger and hopefully this will say 10 once we come back. While it's charging, before it hits its limit, I just want to show, so eight amps on a 10 amp uh, power point, at eight amps, it charges at approximately 12 kilometers an hour. So once this updates, we'll look back here and we'll see if this changes. Now, so now the car has hit its charge limit. I've just come out, it's been a couple of minutes. The car may, might make a couple of funny noises. It now just the T will charge or flash. This is meaning that the UMC is updating, allowing for the car to charge at the actual tail speeds, not just 10 or eight and 15. As you can hear, make a couple of funny noises before it updates. So now jumping back at the car, it's only been five, 10 minutes. We can now see that it now says 10 amps instead of eight. So if we adjust this just up to 100, we can now see that instead of eight amps, at, I think it was 12 kilometers an hour, we will now be charging at approximately 15. So there is a couple of kilometers an hour quicker by just doing this quick update.